going to sing a song. You know this one? No. You haven't I, heard I it? Should. I should. Are you, are you old enough to play Game Boy? You know something called Game Boy from Nintendo? I was more of a PlayStation guy. Okay. Have yeah. you played Tetris? Yes. Yeah. Back in the when day. When everyone is playing Tetris. Dude, I played Tetris that's, in the arcade. That's how old I am. That's the, that's the background music, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's going back. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The Tetris, background yeah. music. Okay. Uh, my way of uh, celebrating the Russia... Oh, the National Russian National, National Day. Day, of course. <laughs> yes, and they had those lovely little uh, pictures of the Kremlin in the background of Tetris, because it was a Russian game. Yeah. It was invented by a Russian guy. Uh, Pride of Russia. It is actually written by a Russian guy as well. Really? The computer uh, program. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's what I mean. It was a Russian game. No, written but you know the, the old... Uh, Tetris. The, the, yeah, yeah. yeah the, I used to play with quarters. I used to like go and put a machine, quarter machine. You've probably never even seen one. No, like. you are still talking about the computer games. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying the original Tetris, where they play with sticks. Ah, yeah, you know, like Jenga. They they came from uh, an original kind of like Russian bowling, I thing, didn't but know. with sticks. I didn't. Yeah, know. I'll have to look that one up. Oh, you have a lot of Russian Tetris. friends. I Male do. or female? Uh, both. I mean, right. you know, they've, they've, they've got a bit of a community here in Hong Kong. And tonight, right. they will be celebrating the National Russian Day okay. at an event hosted by the consulate uh, yeah. here in Hong Kong. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so it should be good fun. There should be some vodka. Yeah. Uh, vodka. They, no, but some people might want Chicken. To, not stirred. No, yeah. that's, a, that's a martini. you got to put it <laughs> That's a vodka martini. Yes. James Bond does drink vodka martinis. So, what is the deal with the Russian National Day? Yeah, people, people might ask. So it's actually tomorrow, June twelfth, but the celebration will be tonight. Uh, and I hope to go see my Russian friends there. Consul General uh, Kalin will be mm. will be hosting. And this was adopted after the fall of the Soviet Union. Mm-hmm. And apparently, even in Russia, it's got it's it's you know the Russian government, of course, celebrates it and puts it on. Uh, but you know, I guess for people who are kind of fond of the old Soviet era, they're a little bit mixed emotions about it. Mm. But for the rest of Russians, it's a day to celebrate uh, their essential Russianness, and so uh, that was the day they adopted the national flag, the the anthem, right? The kind of the new Russia. Mm. So this is the Russian National Day for the post-Soviet Russia. Yeah, it's still white, blue, and red. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But uh, in horizontal stripes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so 1994 was when they established this as a Russian national day. So it's a fairly new national holiday yep. compared to some of the others. And uh, tonight will be the Russians' turn to celebrate. Wow. Ah, Vincent, you missed your calling. All right, it's, it's tomorrow, right? Uh, yes, okay, tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll save my voice. Save it for tomorrow, and uh, we'll share this with the Russians you have today, and they'll, they'll right? feel it in their heart. They might cry. Okay. Because it'll be so okay. passionate. Spasiba? Uh, da svidanya. Yeah. <laughs> Spasiba is... Thank you, right? And I'm saying okay. bye bye. Das uh, Vidanya. Okay, so keyword for today uh, Russian. Russian, yes. yes. Of course. Yeah. All right. All right.